how to mark in call campus. Remember, call campus is our LMS, and we just want to see what is expected of you. Looking at what I saw today, someone said they could not even locate where the assessments are. So maybe I will start right from there. So to do all of that, I will have to go and um, get my screen and uh, then share my screen. Share my screen. Uh, if you want to talk at any time or you want my attention, on top, 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 there is a place where you can click. You see there is something like a hand there, so you can click and let me know um, what you want. All right, let me look for my prepared materials for today. Today, yep, I like that one. And OK, so I'm going to share my screen now. So you don't, don't make this mistake as well. I've got so many windows open, so I've got to look for my window. But I want. Right. Do you see that? Yes. Thank you. Now, let me go out yes. quickly. Now, when you start your programs, you normally start from the home page. We normally set a home page to be assignments. I deliberately chose this one because it is not set at assignments. So I can show you how to do that as well. So when you come here on choose home page, you click it. You see this screen coming out. Then you choose assignment lists. Then you click save, meaning that anytime next time you come here, the first page you land on will be the assignment list. I love having the assignment lists to be the first page because then it's easier for you to see what is required. So this is our assignment uh, page or landing. Now from here, you can choose if you want to mark. You can choose to go in from a particular assignment or if you want, you can go straight to grades. And on grades, you can choose the assignments that you want to do. OK. I'm going to open a different window now. Can you still see it? Can you still see what I'm having here? Yes. Right. Now, let me go on top and let me go a step backwards. Now, depending upon your network, you will have uh, some delays like I'm having now. OK, I still want to take you back to assignments. Right now, here we are in assignments. OK, so Either, like I said, if I do it from here. OK, let me just bring in some people want to join us. Who wants to join us? OK. Yes, you can join, you can join. Right. OK, are you with me again? Can you see my cursor? Yes, I can see. OK, good. So we're going into test one. 
I always say we dive into test one. So let's dive in. It's a deep dive. Okay. Just wait for the system to update. While you're waiting, you can see a few things about the, pre uh, the test. It's about 50 points. An assignment is 120 minutes. Multiple attempts. You keep the highest score. Two times to do it. One question at a time. Lock questions after answering. Meaning that when a student is doing the test, if he finishes question five and goes to question six, he can never go back to question five. Just like that. Right. Finally, okay. Now look here. There is something called speed grader. You see it? I'm hovering around it. Speed grader. Hello? Yes, I can see. I can see, Manier. At least someone must speak. If nobody speaks, uh, okay. just like in your oh, class. Thank you. Now, then we click in and go in there. Is it possible to make your text a bit larger on your screen? I will see if I can do that. I think you can maybe uh, press control and then um, use, use your mouse if, if that's possible. It kind of like zooms in a little bit. Because I'm not sure if everybody can see. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe it's just you. I don't use a mouse. Yeah, if you were watching from our phone screens, it is small. I don't know how I could increase it. I don't know if you can continue, but um, yeah, as long as, as everybody else can see. I'm using a very big screen, but the text is very small. OK, let me see this. Let me do this. Is that better? Yes, definitely. This is 100%. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is oh, much better. The only thing is that I will have less <laughs> place to play on. All right. OK, now that's great. Let me even make it larger. Are you happy now? One ten percent all right you're welcome so colleagues once again um when we come in the speed grader this is what you see and notice a few things before we proceed number one it tells you that the score for this attempt is 25 out of 50 when it was submitted the date and the time how long it took the person to do it on this side, you can see the time it was submitted and the day. I will try and show you another one where there is, you must always check this side because sometimes a student will submit today, then go back again and look at. For the fact that the student has gone to look at it, it shows that he has been there again and it will put him maybe and say zero score when previously it had marked him and gave him a score. So you must go back and see which, which one had the highest and then continue with that one to mark. Okay. So, um, like I said, today I want to show you basically what will be there. The system here marked this student, but I wanted to observe something. It gave him a zero out of one. And the question is, the part of the CPU where arithmetic calculations are done. The memo says ALU. The student has written it in full. Do you see that? Yes. But, yes I can see that. But okay. the student was marked wrong. When in actual fact, he is right. 
The only thing is that it is following the memo, which is down there, because normally your memo will be down there. Unlike uh, in other situations where you have your memo in your hands and you've got a smart script there, here the memo is always below. So in this particular case, to mark here would simply mean to change that zero from zero to one, because this student is correct. Let's look at another situation. OK. Um, sorry, I have picked up this one on computers because yesterday when I was talking to somebody, I came across these issues, so I felt this is a good one to use to show you. Here they say that a phrase describing a computer program which enables people with limited computer knowledge to follow working procedures. Um, the person wrote computer illiterate and the answer is user friendly. So I would tend to agree with the system, isn't it? Yes. Is there a computer guy out there to help me if I'm wrong? No, oh, you're right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then the next one here says, give one word or words to match your description below. Physical components of the computer. Somebody said hardware. The computer says printer and it's a zero. I think this is fine. If I'm wrong, computer man, tell me. <laughs> Okay, software, software. Sometimes when we put in the memo, we may have written software here alone like this, but when we are setting it up, we write capital S and write everything lowercase. We will write everything lowercase so that it can be able to accept the various combinations of software. So, yeah, setting it up is quite a bit of a task. Now, here comes an interesting one. Binary systems. And the, the memo says binary system. So uh, believe it, you and me, I think the student really deserves a mark because this is binary systems with an S and binary system, the same answer. So to mark would mean we go there and just put a one. I don't know. Has life ever been so simple like this? I'm asking you guys. It has never been simple like this, Benier. Uh, simple, yes. Martin. <laughs> it's, it's very simple now that you are illustrating. I want to look for another different one where you can come across an issue. See, what we're looking for here is just a human being to check some machine problems. I think we've talked about this before, so I'm not going to look at that. You can see here, the computer guy can say that this is fine, isn't it? Computer man. Yes. I mean, compact disk read only memory. Compact yes. read. Actually, the memo is a bit short, isn't it? It yes. is. Yes. The memo is a bit short. It did not continue to say only memory. It just stopped on computer read. Well, it's more correct than the memo. Sorry? It's more correct than the memo. Yes. Remember, the memo was being inputted by a person, and the person maybe was tired and stopped there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look at that. I mean, they want the answer, and our student just put a hyphen instead of a slash when he's got given exactly. zero marks. Come on. Is that the benefit of the doubt? Yeah, I mean, um, it is always allowed to assist students if they are making the right effort. This is correct, man. 
It is. Yeah, you must be very careful not to disadvantage yeah. students. Very, very careful. Look at this one. Same story. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same as the one on top. Garbage in, garbage out. Come on. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh -huh. Gigo. Um, so just to ask, when you are marking, you are open up, me, um, You are not clear, sir. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah, if when you open up uh, uh, the portal to mark for, for a student, the memorandum will always be uh, underneath when you're opening up. Normally, yes. You see, um, there are so many subjects. And sometimes I do discover that maybe I did not supervise them properly and they did not put a memo. They should have, there should be a memo on all of them, but I, there are a few cases where the memo is not there. I must what admit. Do you do in that case? Sorry? What do you do in that case? In that case, you are a teacher. Okay. You must always have a memo. A teacher always uh, prepares a memo before they go to mark. Exactly. Okay, um, remember some of us, uh, we, we just joined. So what the task that is given for the moment is for the marking, uh, not, not yet the, 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 the question as well. Sorry? Yeah, for, for some of us that just uh, joined. All of you just joined? Yes. No, sorry. What he means is that some of us are not as experienced as others in this field and may be lacking in material in regards to memos and uh, other, you know, um, study material that uh, may be um, in access to uh, for in in access for others. But then for some who are new, um, they may be lacking that kind of content. So that's uh, I believe that's what uh, Mr. Soldo is asking. Well, I would expect that um, if you are really in this area, you may have some material which you can use. Yeah, but some people don't have as much as others because I believe that, you know, over the years uh, of uh, in, in experience of teaching, some people may have contexts uh, that have taught many a very a vast uh, um, plethora of subjects and they may have uh, unlimited uh, material, but then others just have this, 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 the, the, the small amount that they were able to mess up on the internet. Well, you, yeah. you just mentioned something very interesting, internet. Um, yeah, we'll make a plan though. Yes, make a plan and maybe um, I can show you and share with you a site where you can get materials after this. That would be, that would be much appreciated. After this lesson, where you can be able to download various ebooks as much as you want. And if you, but you will only be allowed to do 10 per day. If you want more than that, you must make a donation from as little as ten dollars which is 150 rands but then yeah. you'll be able to get 30 downloads per day that is what i subscribe to oh, i get 30, 30 right. downloads per day okay thank you sir no problem but it's just a pity that uh for now i'm not going to be at office so i was at office maybe i could have made a plan for you <laughs> okay now um, here is an interesting one. Video display unit, visual display unit. Um, I thought somebody's hand was up. Maybe they wanted to ask something. Oh, Maybe yes. I just... I just wanted to say that if you go on um, uh, Southwest Houghton College website, they put uh, some of the materials 
during this COVID uh, pandemic for students. So I think you can also access that as well if it might be of any assistance. Yes, you're correct. Yeah. So visual and uh, video, what do you say? Would you help this child? Yes. Yes, yes I would wouldn't. help as well. So okay. let's go on. I want to find something more interesting. Okay, this one, the person combined the two words. I mean, they deserve a mark, that's obvious. I want something which is not so straightforward. Okay, you can see here, that's why we want a teacher. You can see here that um, the student is correct, but the memo is wrong. So it looks like when they are doing a memo, this person put in a wrong answer there. Do you see it? Yes. Yeah. That's very straightforward. Uh, you find sometimes to be mixed to have objectives, to have what, fill in the blanks. I'm more interested in filling the blanks where. Let's look at this one. This is also. Control. A. Selects all the text, highlights the entire document. So, um, what do you say, computer man? I think it's correct. You can bring in the deletion of the correct me. Yes, because when you select all the text, it means you have highlighted the entire document, isn't it? Okay. That's but you see, the system is a system. We do not see that. Here is something very similar. Shift plus F3 means what? Change your text case. But toggles is the same thing as change. Yes, yes. So when when you are saying marking, it's just that you must be on the lookout for such things. This one says cuts a selected section of a text. Cuts the selected items. I believe the same thing, isn't it? Yes, yes, that's correct. Normally, when they are filling in, in short, I want, what I want to say, when they're filling in, writing something like more of a sentence, more than a phrase, it will normally mark it wrong. But when you read the phrase, you should be able to make out if it is actually correct or wrong. Ah, this one, I think this one is lost this sound. <laughs> Right, computer man. I believe that's a mark, isn't it? It is correct. Because File Explorer, isn't it? Shortcut for the last bar. It opens the computer menu. Correct. Yes. Likewise, in your subjects, there will be things like that. Now, this is a very interesting one. I think there was something wrong with this particular question because <laughs> you can say so many things about the flash and this is true as well, but he's talking about capacity. So here it means we must fix actually the question itself. I think so. And the same thing here as well. Right, let's look at this now. OK, you see, he is giving the descriptions while they are giving the capacity in the answers. Are we on the same page? Yes. Yes. Same thing here as well. He's given a description, they are given the capacity. So the question should have been, what is the capacity of? So you see, that is one student now you want to mark the next student do you see a small arrow here drop down arrow yes 
So you click that, then you see the students. So when you see a tick, it means it has been marked. But, okay. but like I said, marked by the system, so you must go and check it. Still double check, yes. Yes. So uh, let's go and see the next one. And the next one is, do we have somebody marking this subject in here? <laughs> yes. Ah, lucky you. Remember I said here that sometimes there can be more than one submission. So you exactly. see, when you click the down arrow, so can you see that this person first had an opportunity on the 31st of March? Yes. Then also on 25 April. April. Mm -hmm. On 25, looks like this person did not submit anything. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got to be careful sometimes. If I go to that submission, yes. can you see this one took 54 minutes? If I yes. go to that submission, let me see what is going to be there. It took 120 minutes. And there are no answers. Which is why in future I want to leave it to one attempt. I tell myself that this person was copying the questions. Okay. See. I think I must come up with a policy which says that if we find something like this, then we we won't will give you an average of what you've got. Something like that. He's written nothing, but he spent so much time. Do you see? Spent so much time. And do you see what I'm looking at here called view log? Yes. I can verify that by clicking it. And then I can see what the person was doing. He started. Then he stopped looking at doing anything, started again. Answered, but I don't think he answered anything. Answered, possibly read. So he must have been writing. Can you see? Then yes. by resuming means he's clicking again. Because remember, this is set up that one question at a time. That is why it is set up for one question at a time. Because if you put all the questions on one page to be seen at one time, then it's easier for the students to try and copy like this. But when they've got to do each question, one at a time, then you can see all of this. See, but he did nothing. Look at all this time he spent. Hmm? But did zero. So how many attempts are you allowed now? Sorry? How many attempts are they allowed? Two attempts. Oh, yeah. So, I'm saying that is why I want to see maybe when I start the next one to either give one attempt or to give them what is called an average. In an average, it means that <laughs> a student can never get more, more than 50 percent. Because if I get 100 percent first attempt and I get zero second attempt, average is 50. If I get 100, two attempts, that's the only time I'll get 100. But if ever I get any of them less than 100, then I'll never get 100. So maybe that's the way we need to go. If I set it to one attempt, and second attempt will be on average. Yeah, okay. Um, this was not really part of the lesson, but 
I think it's good to know about that. Yes. So let's go back to him. Okay, this time I want to concentrate on something else. We normally say that we want you to give what is called supportive marking. So I want to look for instances of that. But in short, do you see that every place has got additional comments? Yes. Okay, good. Now, here, for example, this person writes Cotona. Hey, I don't know what that is. IT guys, what is that? <laughs> hey, people can come up with nice words, eh? <laughs> so, I, even, I even thought right? it was Corona for, some, for, for a moment there. Eh? Oh, you thought it was Corona. <laughs> For example, you could, um, how else could we say user friendly without saying user friendly? How else can we say user friendly without saying user friendly? Yes. Okay. Google says the following. Mm. I think in the, in the computer space, it's, it's a bit difficult to, to put it in, in, in another way. Um, this is a, a computer subject, right? Yes. Yeah. If it was maybe any other subject, it would be easy to just uh, uh, say um, accessible or adaptable or something like that. But I think in a computer space, it's more appropriate for them to use the word user than anything else. Um, uh, not sure. Let me see. Okay, Google says, I think it's correct. Device or hardware that is easy to use. Does that make sense? Yes. yes so it's short, easy to use. Yes. Also, yeah. like um, just to um, we give an student the idea of how they got it wrong. Uh, just yes. Oh, okay. Right. Without giving the answer exactly as it is. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So after you mark, and then the student can be able to see uh, what yes. is wrong and right. Immediately they can see. In so fact, when you finish marking, they get they, an email which says that your script has been marked. Will they also be privy to the memo uh, after the marking? After no. The marking? Oh. no. We, I'll show you, we set it up so they don't see the answers, they say. If we want, we can make it like that. Yes. So, how will the student know what uh, what is uh, uh, what how what, what is the right answers? For example, if they they need to. That is why I'm saying, after every question, there is 
additional comments. There you give them what we call supportive marking. You give them a hint or you try to lead them to the answer without giving the answer. All right. okay. And remember I said we should try and arrange, I don't think this week can work, the other week from 21 or so. We should try and arrange, I think Mam Shawan will talk to you about that. We should try and arrange, schedule now, give them dates now for when we can have a one hour um, revision of their assignments or whatever. I'm using Teams deliberately because I would like you to use Teams. But if you want, you can use Zoom, but Teams is better because then there'll be a, rec a record, a proper record of what you've done. And as you can see, like, since um, all of you are not SWGC, then you can, when you use Teams, you must invite those people with their emails. So you can always ask your students to give their email addresses when you put them in and invite them as a guest okay. or whatever system you're using for as long as you have teams. So you must do all of that. Then at the end, I am just going through, um, if you remember, um, yesterday I did all of this, but it was not live. I'm yes. just going through that. So then, what I did is what is called a flipped classroom. You would do something ahead. Now here, can you see update scores? When you finish mm -hmm. marking, you must always come and update your scores. Okay. If you don't update your scores, it means that whatever is there will be lost that you've marked or changed. So when you update your scores here, when you're done, we expect an overall comment here. OK. When you put that comment, a student can answer back and you can have a discussion with a student. Understood. So that, yes. In which section do you say you put the overall comment? Yeah. Assignment comments. Oh, OK. And you've got to put a meaningful uh, feedback. Not the good or excellent or it doesn't help much. What does it help? Hmm? Maybe, for example, let me write something. Um, Just find something that is lacking um, and then uh, write something, you know? Okay. Something relevant. When the student sees that, you know, they get more encouraged. But when they don't, when they just see the good, the bad, ah, they say the same old things. Mm. Now, if you've made a mistake in your comments, and you want to change it so easy, just go back to the X. Do you see the X? Yes. Just go to X and bye bye. The comment is gone. So that is why I'm removing the comment because I'm not a teacher. I want the teacher to come and put the comment. So it is not cast in stone if you put a comment. If you want to change it, you can change it later. So, any questions? So basically, that's just it for the marking. That's basically yeah. what you do, and then yeah. you mark according to. You can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Continue. Then you mark according to whatever the name, and then uh, you went to wherever you can. Then you submit automatically the claims you get. Feedback, and then you move so you're done. Basically, what it is. Yeah.
yeah, more or less like that. Then let me show you something else before we go. Oh, sorry. You see the little book I clicked on here? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you click, then you will see what is out there. Or well, basically what you have done. Yes. For all of and you see, this is actually everything which is there. Now, the big subjects, ne? the big subjects, there is more than one teacher mark in it. That is why you can see S1 2021D. It is assigned to a particular lecturer. I'm not sure which one unless I check. So you can see that all the different um, groups of students can be seen here. However, each one, okay, this one is cut into four groups. You, I can see everything because I am me. <laughs> you will only be able to see the section you're assigned to. That way, you cannot go and interfere in somebody's marking. You will not go and change the marking of 2018. You know, okay. you won't go and change the marking of whenever. So you are normally assigned to your own territory. So under my own profile, I will only have access to what is available to me and not anybody else's. Yes. Now, sometimes if you open it in the wrong way or if it opens somewhere else, you might see like there is nothing. So what you must do is you must come to view. Say, look at filters and go to sections. I just removed it off now. So keep it on sections. When you keep it on sections, then you can come and choose your particular section here. Here I'm seeing all sections because I am me. I don't want to see all sections. I was on D. I want to see D. I can see if there is something wrong somewhere here. Score does not include internal exam because there's no points. Internal exam is here. Okay, tell me you got no points. Oh, I think it's this particular one. Okay, I'll fix it later. So now you can see test one, like I'm saying, usually is completely marked by the system. Then test two you will see little bo books like this. When you see this, it means the student must has submitted the work. Okay. Now, when you see gaps here, like this, this is a place where I said, come here. Can you see, before I go there, there are no dots. When I go there, I see the dots. Do you see? Yes. yes. So you click on the dots, then this menu comes out. Then you click on message students. By default, it goes to have not submitted. And if you remember, I said you must put in this message. I said you must put in this message. I went to where I copied it. All assessments are compulsory. 
please do this assessment and any uncompleted assessments ASAP to ensure you are resulted by DHET. If a student does not do a single assessment, we submit triple nine. Do you follow me? Yes. According to ICAS guidelines, a student must do all assessments. So in a case where one assessment is missing, we simply submit triple nine and say he was absent because he has not met the requirements. And like I said, oh, yes. This would be done before, let's say, uh, a uh, closing date for that specific um, uh, assignment or test or whatever. I said before, if you've got students like that, tell me some strong one. But then send that notice. When you tell Ms. Mshongwane, she will tell the consultant to open up that test for maybe a day only. Oh, okay. If it's already closed. If it's not closed, no problem. But if it is closed, tell her so that she'll be able to get the consultants to open it for a day. How do we communicate with Mrs. Someone? She is on the group. She introduced herself. WhatsApp group? Yes. All right. Okay. So now look at it. I said you must um, put a space in so you can send the message. So I'm sending this message already to these students. So it will send to all the students who are in this test, who have not submitted. And actually, to be honest, it's for our own good to do this because the more students we mark, the more money for bread we have. So please don't forget, do it. And also then these students will be able to write the exams. Because if they don't have it, they won't write the exams. So I think for today, that should be about it. Are there any questions, problems? Uh, just uh, to make this recording available. OK, I'll, I'll try and make it available. Thank you. Okay, because I see it is recording, so I'm not sure if you can be able to send a link in the WhatsApp for the video, uh, something like that, just so that some of us that came a little bit late can just go through the first things you, you talked about. No problem. Are we fine? All right, before. Are we fine? Yes, we're fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so I can stop sharing now. So, okay. So can we go now? <laughs> no, yes. not yet. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you're back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I just wanted to, uh, just to get uh, something very clear, like I introduced myself yesterday and we spoke about, I shared or uh, we indicated want to see that you. We want to see 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 you. Ah, uh -uh, she's got. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. What if she's still in her bathroom? Too? Sorry? What if she's still in her bathroom? <laughs> in the bathroom? Yeah, bathrooms. Oh. Like, uh, uh, yeah, she's dressed. It's, uh, it's fine. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting. Uh, 
I'm just I'm coming. I'm coming. Where's that very well? Look at um Mam Gumbi. Yes. Okay. She's got natural makeup. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's true. Just hold that smile. Let me take a picture of you. Okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful picture. Thank you very much. Should I show it on the group? I'll be I'll be I am on the group. I'll be expecting the picture. Here it comes. Okay. <laughs> Are we done? Um, we're just waiting for Mom Shongwan. She wants to talk to us. And yes, Oh, okay. Sorry, I was someone else, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, beautiful. 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 It looks really beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure oh. my look at her beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. Um, I just wanted to uh, emphasize the importance of success, of ensuring that everyone completes uh, their work that is making by the 14th. It is very, very crucial. We are dealing with students here who are supposed to go and sit for final exams. So I would like to emphasize once more that please go and do your work and do it diligently so and uh, let's be professional and let's not forget to also be lenient regarding um I mean lenient and students regarding marking. So I wish you all the best but remember the 14th is our final day to submit everything concerning the assessment. Thank you so much. Thank you. And <laughs> before you go, <laughs> thank you. Before you go, let's take one. <laughs> you know that I love pictures from Shungwa. <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And here it comes. Okay. So fast. That's the beauty of technology today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Thanks. At least, let me tell you something before you guys go. At least you are saved of one thing. Remember, when you mark your normal marking, you've got to write on a mark sheet, then submit that. But here is that automatically for you. Once you mark, it's already recorded. You know? Yes. So that's a beauty. So yes, any problems, please, you can forward them to Mem. She'll attend to them. And then we'll take it from there. So thank you for your time. We said um, 30 minutes. We've been here for an hour now. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. That shows your dedication. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. 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 Before you go, I will put you the link, the link in the group for the website I was talking about. Or do you want me to share okay, a demonstration you. about it? Should thank I share you, a sir. demonstration on it? Yes, yes, kindly, please, actually. That would be great. Yes. Okay. Let me just stop recording there for this.